ever wanted to carry a studio light, but it was too big for you to carry in your bag? In this video, I review the Vivitar Studio Pocket Light. I'm going to show you how to step up your game video wise, audio wise, as well as lighting wise. Hey everyone, this is Gil Sarvigaro back again with another video and welcome to Pocket Creators where I help content creators on a budget. Right now I'm running my Movo dual microphone system right now so you get that wireless audio, dependable audio I hope. And I'm running my 13 uh, Pro Max because unfortunately last video I dropped my Fuji X mount camera and it damaged the lens. So now I have to go buy another lens. So it is what it is. It's part of the game, I guess. But so the microphone's right here. So hopefully I got good audio for you. And I have the 13 Pro Max. So, you know, th these things can, this thing's pretty much like better than a DSLR sometimes. Now, if you guys haven't put it together, I do run a channel that's do my life. So you can go check it out somewhere over here. So I'm trying to do dual purpose. You know what I'm saying? But right now, you're watching Pocky Creators. Today, we're going to do a tech review and possibly a game changer for you to step up your video conferencing game. Let's just say I bought a few things a couple of days ago that might up your game when it comes to uh, presentation skills. So I'm going to be going through those products next couple of videos. Studio lighting. Right now, I turned off all the lights. I just have my Bower uh, RGB, you know, quad light situation right now, so, which is great lighting. Along with purchasing a bunch of stuff, this is one of my purchases. It's the Vivitar Creator Series Studio Light Pocket. It's a powerful light, allegedly. We're going to do a quick unboxing. We'll open it up. I'm going to give you my pros and cons to it, the applications of it as far as like in a professional setting and a creator setting. So what's in the box, right? I don't know what that is. Stop, pocket, you know, starter guide. And this is a quick starter guide as well. So before I open this up and let it out, let me, let's just run through a few stats on it so you understand what you're buying. It's a studio light with RGB capabilities and full spectrum on the white lighting as well. So that's amazing. It has an LCD display on there, so that's really good. You can I see those on really some of the high-end lights and some of the low, low-end lights as well, but generally speaking, I see, those, I see those on the high-end lights, so this is pretty good that they brought that into here. It has a 4,000 milliampere battery, which is, which is pretty nice. It has a metal body, which is good. I'm not going to drop test it. That's not going to be me. That's, this is good money. Still sub $50, but still good money to me, right? And it has 126 total LEDs. Okay, what is it in the box right here? This is the physical light. I see a... USB-C adapter right there. Everything doesn't come with a brick anymore, so you gotta have to find your brick if you don't have one. And a camera mount right there for the tripod or tripod mount. We have the light right here. First impressions, as far as holding it in my hand right now, I can attest to the metal body. I feel the weight. I took my, my case off my phone, but this is my phone case right here, my life proof case. This is the unit right here. This is my phone case on top of it, an iPhone 13 Pro Max case. Feel, feels good, feels solid. I see these notches, plastic buttons. This is gonna be where you charge, you do all your charging right there. There's one of the tripod mounts right there. There's actually two tripod mounts. And we have four buttons that, and I don't know if you see right there, all the modes and all the stuff right there, and that's the LCD light right there let's turn it on so you're gonna hard press the power button oh wow okay this is the actual the white spectrum mode right there i don't know if you can see that right there it is at a 60 60 percent right now this is at 8500k this is the brightest setting i mean but not the brightest percentage wise so let's take it up to 100 and see what that looks like that's 100 right there i can tell you right now that is, that's pretty bright. Uh, that's a little, that's pretty bright. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to keep it at a hundred, but take it down to like 5,600 K. That's more like yellowish white right now. This is pretty bright for me. And it's way brighter than the LE, the, the RGB um, quad that I'm looking at right now. 
So you guys let me know what the difference is right now. And the setting goes all the way down to 2500K Kelvin right there. So that's more on the yellow side, the warmer side. Um, I tend not to really be here. I'm gonna turn off this light and show you what the difference is as far as capabilities lighting wise. Now this can be done for talking head videos like what I'm doing now or in a Zoom meeting, if you have a tripod, you want to hook this up, perfect applications for it. So let's turn this off. Tell me what you guys think. I'll put it above right there. So I'm like a little bit right above me. I'll put it to the side of me. Tell me what you guys think as far as uh, light output. Now this is at 56K right now. So I'll put it on the other side as well. So as you can see, like it's giving me good light, what I see on the camera right now. Obviously, I'm going to see this in post edit, but tell me what you guys think. Is it giving you any type of noise here and everything like that? Bump it up to the brightest, 85K, like almost straight, like fluorescent-ish at 100%. Now, this is at 8,500K at 100%. Tell me what you guys think. If it's too bright or whatever, or right there, right there to the side of me. Now, this is at 50% at 8,500K. Tell me what you guys think. Comment down below. But I hope you're forming the opinion now that it is pretty versatile. Because I'm going to put it down to 56K right now. And, and you guys let me know what you guys think. Possibilities. Obviously, all the lights are off right now. So you can kind of see the pure output of this thing. This is 5600K right now. To the left of me. Right? Tell me what you, what you think, believe about. Comment down below. Above me. Let me switch hands and right beside me right here. That's literally the white spectrum of the Vivitar Studio Light Pocket. So let's go into party mode. Let's go into creating an ambiance. Let's go into, you're, you're a creator, but you wanna, you're in a hotel room right now. I'm away on business. This is a pocket. This is like the size of a phone, put in your pocket. This particular light has like three or four, like four modes that I'm looking at right now. It has RGB mode where you can kinda hone in on the color you want. So if you are a creator and you want a special color, you can kind of hone in on that using the settings here. I'm not gonna go through because it's customized. You have used like a U, like you can change the U of certain things. So there's definitely a lot of settings. This, this is the U setting right now. This is the RGB mode right now where you can play around with the, with the settings and all of everything like that. I'm gonna go through all the modes here. So this is like, like ambiance, background so i'm just gonna put it behind me on the bed here that's pretty chill for me because you think about this you're doing a video you're you know you're away from home you're not from your, you're not in your studio you're just trying to create that ambiance that you have at your your your, uh, your studio setting and you needed something that's something right there that's for me it's a big change it already changed the mood even when i'm looking at a small a small little camera you know if it's you're doing a uh you're doing a stream you're you're doing something you're a content creator that wants to bring up your studio lighting game. That right there is a game changer for me. Within budget as well, fifty under $50. Even there, that's on the ground right now. Tell me what you guys think. So many so many possibilities at this point. Like That's what I'm thinking right now. So that is my review on the Vivitar Studio Light Pocket. I believe it's a great buy. Very worth it for the money for me. Metal body, lots of options. More than likely, I'm going to use it for... When I do um, videos, talking head videos, and have that as a backdrop, different colors. And I'm going to do it when I have to do like uh, meetings, video calls, and things like that to bring up that, you know, that quality. So with that said, step up your studio game with the Vivitar Creator Studio Series Studio Light Pocket. I'm going to link them down below so you can check out other products from them. As well as links to lights similar to this if you can't find it in your Walmart or anything like that. Comment down below. I would love to see your feedback on this particular light. And if you are using it already, tell me your feedback on it. How long has it lasted you? How durable has it been? And all those questions that a lot of us are asking. So, take care. God bless and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.